guys, I'm Chris from The Double Threat. And this morning we're gonna talk about setting up your kite for the given wind conditions. So here we have our fishing kite. This kite is rigged up to be a right side kite. And you can tell by the split shots I have on the right hand corner of the kite. What weighting the corner of your kite will do is cause it to tip in the air and turn towards the direction of those weights. So for instance, this kite, I want it to set up behind the boat and fly to the right. So I put the weights on that side, the kite will lean this way, and the wind will push it out to the right. That'll give you a bigger spread in between your kite baits. Another type of adjustment we have on the kite is the bridle. That's this little piece right here. If you'll notice, there are two very faint uh, black lines where I have to mark the two bridle positions. What the bridle does is control how high or low your flight, your kite is gonna fly in regards to the horizon. So by pushing your bridle this way, all the way towards the kite, this little brown clip goes to the kite. That's gonna make your kite fly a lot lower. Then on the opposite hand, you can slide this bridle out like that. And that will cause your kite to pitch and go higher. Couple different ways that you can rig these kites. Everybody has their own preferences on what they feel most comfortable with. Or it's all about getting your tight uh, correction, getting your kite tuned so that you present your baits the, in the way that you want. Another thing that we rig on our kites is this balloon. Everybody always asks about the balloon, what it does. That's just so if your kite line breaks or you have some sort of problem with your kite and the kite lands in the water, it doesn't sink. You're going to be able to find your kite and retrieve it. That's all that balloon's for. So here we've got a couple different model kites. These are what you're going to typically use on any given day of fishing. Um, we'll start with the SFE ultralight kite. This kite here we'll use about um, eight mile an hour winds to maybe 15 mile an hour winds, this will fly just fine. You'll notice for the lower uh, wind conditions, you'll have a larger kite, gives you more surface area to catch the, the wind, keep that kite up in the air. Then uh, stepping up from the ultralight kite, we have the classic all wind kite here. And we'll fish this um, 12 to maybe 25 miles an hour wind. Then stepping up from that is a 40 hole kite. That's for even higher wind conditions. We'll, we'll fish these kites when it's around 20 mile an hour, maybe a little bit over. You'll notice this one is, is significantly smaller than the ultralight kite. I'll put them together here for a comparison. So there's a little, little bit of difference here as far as the surface area. Then also it has a lot of holes in it um, and that's to allow additional wind to pass through the kite. Uh, if you were to put this ultralight kite up in 30 knots of wind, it would put so much pressure on these spars, it would have the kite almost bent in half and it might, might cause the kite to fail. So it's important to use the right kite for the, for the given wind conditions. Uh, it's flying a little high and a little too straight back for me. I'd like to get it kicked over to the side and a little lower. So I'm going to pull the kite back in and add some split shots. Got a couple small split shots here. I'm just going to put two on to start and we'll see We'll see how the kite flies. There we go, the kite's kicked over a little more to the right and it's flying a little lower. That'll, that'll help us keep our baits from lifting up into the air on a high wind day like today. 